Hello, so I'm Lizzie Driscoll and I'm a bachelor research student at the University of Birmingham in Professor Peter Slater's group in chemistry. And today I'm going to show you how to make a tactile battery Jenga set. So the set itself and all the materials you need is relatively inexpensive and it makes a great little demonstration. The materials I'm going to use, I've tried to base things that I can find in the home, so I'm going to be making use of cardboards, we've got some textured paper and a few things I bought from the craft shop. Some of the paints I'm going to use um, you don't necessarily have to have the same brands as me, uh, it just means if you go for a cheaper paint which costs a couple of pounds, uh, it just means you might need to apply a few more coats, um, but we aren't covering a great, great area. And if you can't get hold of some of the materials I'm going to use today, um, then just have a look what's in your recycling bin, have a look see if you've got any small little bottle tops, anything like that. As long as you've got a key, contrasting colours and textures, you can put together a great battery set. The set I'm using today as well, so the Jenga set I've got is not actually a proper Hasbro Jenga set, I should clear that up. It is just a tumbling tower set that I found cheap on eBay. Um, and overall, it's a great little demo to do, and then after that, we can explain and understand how lithium ion batteries operate and some of the key characteristics. And I would absolutely love to see what everyone comes up with these, whether we're making the battery Jenga or as well show me what they've learned from this demonstration too. So without further ado, let's get crafted. I'm going to show you all the different pieces that I've got and just to make sure everyone's at the same sort of starting point. Okay, so this is my workstation with all the bits and pieces I've got. Um, so let's start over here. I've got a few stationary pieces. I've got a pencil and ruler, uh, scissors, and that will be able to help us cut out our rectangulars to be the right shape. Some paint brushes for when we do the painting. A piece of cardboard, or you can use any sort of old newspaper just to put your paint on. Uh, a bit of tissue paper to clean your brushes and a bit of water. Make sure you don't drink that. So for our oxide electrode I've got some nice glitter paper, so sticking to the sort of yellow and blue theme, some of self adhesive gems. These buttons here we're going to paint blue, uh, that's for our lithium ion. Uh, for our graphite electrode, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this, it's really easy. It's just taking off the top layer of your of a piece of cardboard, painting it grey and I think it looks quite nice, like the layered structure of graphite and I'll show you how to do that. Oops. I've got a few paints here, uh, so we've got the white, that will be painting our blanks and where the lithium are, ions are, it will come clear. A bit of orange paint and I've got some nice copper to paint on top, it will be used for our copper current collectors. A bit of grey paint for our graphite and the blue for the lithium ions. We'll also need some PVA glue just to stick all the pieces together. And the most important thing is also we've got a tower block set. You can use such as Jenga, um, but I'm, I've just got a cheaper non-branded set instead. Uh, so overall this has come to less than £10, uh, but you can make use of anything you have at home just to be consistent and the paint doesn't have to be an expensive brand. So let's get started. Um, so I would suggest getting started on the painted pieces. When it comes to doing the gold glitter paper at least, and we start assembling, all the pieces should be dry. So what we need is a bit of piece of cardboard, 
going to take the blue paint, let's go add a little bit on. Go for this paintbrush. Okay, so I've just taken a bit of blue paint, I've just put it onto a bit of cardboard. We've got our little buttons. This bit will get a bit messy, so early adults make sure if you're letting the kids do it, make sure your nice tabletops are covered. I'm just using a blank bit of scrap paper, and you will have to wash your hands afterwards. If you are using acrylic paint like me, uh, it does stain clothes, so just be careful. We don't want to ruin any nice clothes. And then we're just going to paint. This will get a little bit messy. So we need to let those dry anyway. The good thing about acrylic paint in the summer, it dries really fast. And that can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. Just wash my hands, I'm going to put that paint to the side and we're just going to put my buttons somewhere else just so they can dry. Okay. Okay, so the next thing, so I've just disassembled my Jenga set. So I know I want to paint the graphite blanks and where the lithium buttons are going to go. I want to paint those white so they have a nice background. Putting a bit, little bit of white paint out. So that's one side. Need to clean my brush from before. I might just use another one. We we'll use another one. And what I want to do, I just want to paint this white. So with a little set you should have nine for each electrode. So nine blanks for the graphite electrode and nine blanks where the lithium's gonna go on your oxide electrode. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring back our buttons and we're gonna paint the back of these now. So the next bit we're going to do the graphite electrode. So what you need for that is you just need a bit of cardboard. And what we're going to do is, if you see that bit there, we're going to just grab that and we're just going to peel it off. If you see, you're actually getting that sort of texture. Okay, and then once you go it all off, it should look something like this. Or if you find any sort of packaging, that's already done it for you. And then all you need to do 
is just paint it a nice grey and you should get this sort of texture. You can see here it is 3D. For the next bit we need to make sure we need to get our electrodes ready. Well we need to get our current collectors ready. So I've got those here. So we've got six blanks there and we need six blanks for our oxide electrode also. Just find that. Yep. So these ones we want to be copper for our graphite electrode, and these ones we want to be aluminium. So for the copper, I'm going to do the copper ones first. I'll move those out of the way so we don't get confused. I'm going to have a bit of. I've got raw sienna instead of orange, but you can use orange. It's just what I've got to hand. And then I'm going to get a blob of a nice copper paint I've got. And with our big set, um, I actually we actually fix one pence pieces, but you won't be able to do that. So we can see we've got two blobs of paint here. Two blobs. Of paint. So just make sure we've got a clean brush. Make sure we've got no glue. What I'm going to do, just to make it stand out a bit more, because uh, we haven't got a wand pen piece, I'm just going to go across and have it really thick, just so students can tell the difference. So then I go with diagonal lines. It might not work, I might have to just paint it completely. So we have got a bit of raw sienna there and the copper paint. The copper paint is slightly transparent. So I've painted with the raw sienna and then the copper on top. And you can see they've got the shine. Got a nice shine and then I've put little dots on the centre pieces because we won't be able to put the copper pieces, copper once fence pieces on. Pieces for the aluminium pieces. We've got these six here that need to be decorated. So I'm going to put one on, draw it around and then cut it out.
Okay, so what we need now is a bit of PVA glue. So I'll that piece back. And we'll go there. See, Add a little bit of glue on there. I'm going to use a relatively old brush. Take a little bit of glue, cover. How that turns out for the first one. And we'll have to wait for it to dry a bit. But now we've got our aluminium current collect, so we'll just repeat that for all the others. So, again, we've got a different sort of texture. Okay, so now we're going to start sticking some valley fumes on, so we'll just get the um, background. It's still too dry now. Okay. Okay. So these are, I think, 10 millimetres and they fit just about right. So, measured up that one. So, And then these will form our uh, graphite. We'll keep those and we'll get rid of the bits we don't want. And then we'll do the same again for our oxide electrode. And this is the glitter paper. 